Hey guys, and welcome to this video. So this video is going to be a bit different in this channel, but uh, I think that from time to time we all need to hear some motivational words, some comforting words, some encouraging words, basically, that we all need in certain point of our, our journeys. Like we all have different ones. And I think that from time to time, we all need to hear something nice and to hear that we are not alone in our everyday battles. And if you're an artist and if you're trying to work your way out, you definitely know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of insecurities. There's a lot of questions in your head. And just realize that we've all been there and we are still there from time to time and that you are not alone. That's the most important thing. So this is all something that from time to time I keep telling myself and I keep having like loads of thoughts in my head and I keep having like the comforting words, the motivational words, realistic words. Like you're going to hear something in this video that might not like you might not like it, but it's the reality of becoming an artist. And I think that once you put all of it together, once you mix all these feelings that you have, you get a quite a mess, which is very useful for you. And like, if you watch this video until the end, you would realize why it's very useful to you. So I truly hope that you will enjoy this video and that you will find a comfort or motivation or inspiration or anything that you are looking at the moment as an artist. While listening to me, you will also see uh, how I made this beautiful portrait with pastels. I would just like quickly to say something. This drawing can be found on my Patreon page as a real-time video drawing step-by-step -step tutorial. And a part of this, you have loads of beautiful art tutorials that I'm uploading there every month. So if you're interested in drawing with me, and learning how to draw and hang out and speak and chat with other people. Um, I have quite a few people there who are willing to draw along with me and follow my tutorials. So I would be really happy if you joined and become a part of my little art Patreon community there. The link is in my description box. You can check it out and um, we can start with this video now. <laughs> So, the first and the most important thing you should realize is that your path doesn't depend only on your art skills. It's not about that at all. It's about your mindset. I see some artists whose portraits are not the greatest as it comes to my taste, but they work very hard on it. They're trying out new things, they experiment, they're not afraid to represent their work to the world. And I respect that so, so much because I see how much they're willing to fight for it. And then I see some perfect portrait drawings and I see that those artists are not advertised their work much. They're very insecure in their skills and they just don't believe in themselves much. So you can choose what kind of artist you want to be. You can be both or neither. It's all on you because as I always like to say, who can say what is wrong and what is right in the end of the day when it comes to art? Who is competent enough to judge your skills and knowledge? The beauty in art is in its freedom, not constant judgment. Since social media appeared, we were drawn into this world of constant comparisons where we see tons of beautiful art master portraits and whether we want to admit it or not we compare our skills constantly we get drawn into overthinking stressing out about what we need to do in order to achieve something similar to what we saw then we feel kind of an inner envy jealousy where we end up believing that we are not, just not good enough and this is not how it's supposed to be True abilities, true desires, and true skills comes within you, not chasing somebody else's skills and not trying to create something that you saw on social medias, because the truth is, again, nobody can create the same thing twice, especially not two different people. So the beauty in art, it's in its uniqueness. And keep in mind that nobody can create anything like you created, no matter how much you think your drawing is wrong or bad or not good enough. It's unique, and that's the most important thing when it comes to art. 
We live in a 21st century where, as some say, each product has its buyers and this is so true. There are so many people in this world and if you can find at least five people who will like your work, you should be happy and grateful and if you want to sell your work, I am again very sure that from this many people in the world, your art will find its forever home, sooner or later, of course. So again, it is about your mindset. The doubt and the fear are your biggest enemies when it comes to building your art career and your art skills. And all this could come from different places. Fear of non-acceptance, fear of the unknown path, fear of failure, fear of disappointing your followers, and there are just like thousands and thousands of fears. But in order to overcome whatever fear you might be dealing with now, this is all something you should put in one special box. And I will tell you about this special box a bit later and it's like in this video. Just prepare one box in your head and we will come to this box. You see, even now I have the slight fear that I might forget some things to say, that I might disappoint few people, that these words might not be accepted in a good way or that you might misunderstand this whole point of this video. And this is generally the fear of the unknown. But I decided to do it anyways, putting my little fears on the side and being very brave while speaking to you about this. I just have a lot of things to say about this topic because I know how much encouragement I needed while I was starting to draw more seriously. I didn't know what is the right path, I kept doubting my abilities and this was happening for quite a while. Now I really don't want for this to happen to you, of course. I don't want for you to give up just because you feel lost, you don't know in which direction you want to go, or you don't believe in yourself much. I'm filming this video and I'm saying all this not knowing how many of you would listen to this, but even if 10 people listen and 2 people implement all of this, or at least half of this in their everyday thinking, my mission here is complete. So everything that you do when it comes to art, don't expect huge things right from the start. Do this from your heart. Do this because it might help somebody else. It might even help you. I know that if I ever go into that doubting mode or fear mode again, because we never know what might happen in the future, of course, I know I will play this video to myself. And in this way, I'm even helping myself. So if you don't believe that your work might help somebody, start doing it for yourself first. Start making small steps and each new steps will get bigger and bigger. Just, of course, don't go backwards because like that it would get smaller. So always go and look in front of you. Try to do a lot of things to help yourself. Investigate, try out different things, try thinking about ways and possibilities, how you can make yourself grow, how you can improve your drawing skills, how you can make your mindset better, because no matter how great this career might look like, for everyone who is looking at it from a side, you sit at home, you draw, you do the job you love, this is so great. But this is not even close to how it actually looks like and how this job actually is. You have no idea how much you need to prepare for everyday loneliness, for example, to learn how to represent your work in the best possible way, to be a good videographer, to be a good photographer, to learn about marketing, to be a good manager, to learn how to manage everything when it comes to your business, to produce good art, to be innovative, to have good ideas. And apart from all of this, there is an everyday battle with your mind. Your thoughts can often get so crazy from time to time because everything that involves your work involves loneliness as well, being your own boss, learning new things every day, pushing yourself every day into working, being creative, um, learning a lot of new things, having a good mindset, not falling into too judgmental thoughts towards your work, pushing yourself up in general. You need to do all of this by yourself and this can be all overwhelming for all of us and it's not easy, but trust me, it's completely worth it. Not because of fame, but because your strong inner desire to become successful in what you do and what you really love, it's worth more than you can ever imagine, no matter how stressful it might get at one point. I always believed that you don't just decide to be an artist, you are born an artist. And sooner or later, that inner desire to create will awake somewhere deep down and you will start chasing what you are made for. 
So also have this in mind. You're born to do this. You're born to do everything that I just mentioned. You're born for this path, for all the good and not that great things that I mentioned. And this might scare you, of course, but what path wouldn't scare you? The path of becoming a lawyer is also scary. The path of becoming a baker is scary as well. But this is one of the rarest paths where you can completely be free. So it might sound strange, but freedom can be scary. All the greatest things in life are usually what we're scared of. Because if it's very, very easy, then the path is most probably wrong for you. I remember one of the people who discovered me, like who discovered me as an artist, believed in me and pushed me into the artistic path. He's a great artist as well. He told me to push every day, very hard, to push until it hurts. And when it starts hurting, to push even harder. It will hurt as hell and it needs to hurt because what is coming after is worth every second of this pain. And whenever I have some doubts, whenever I feel overwhelmed, I remember these words and I bring myself to the right track very fast. So whatever you feel now, all the doubts, all the insecurities, all the pain, envy, jealousy maybe, that feeling when you look at your art and you're not satisfied at all because you saw some amazing drawing a few hours ago on the internet and in your eyes it is better than yours, put all of this in that box that I mentioned a few minutes ago, put all of this in a box of pain. You simply have to have it with you. I call it the box of pain, you can call it whatever you want, but for me this is the box of pain because the feelings are mixed and in general it causes like a mental pain at least, so but you can call your box of course, however you want. And then start working on your mindset, change the way how you look at all of this. I know it's not easy, but you need to work on it every day. Whenever it hurts, whenever you have doubts, Think about how it's good for you to feel this because this is leading you towards a good path if you change your mindset and realize that you can use all of this to your advantage. And I cannot tell you how you can change your mindset exactly because I don't know exactly what is going on in your head, but this is really something that you should work on it however you possibly can. We all have different ways of dealing with our minds and if you can find the one that is the most challenging, just go for that one. You need to realize that you have all these feelings and the feelings can be mixed and you carry them with you until you grow in every possible way. I believe that for some of you, these words might sound very strange and for some of you, you would either get confused or you won't believe me at first, but listen to everything all over again. And after you finish this video, speak a bit to yourself about it. Be completely objective and try to realize where are you now and where can you be if you all these feelings that you carry with you use as your advantage. Being an artist is a constant fight with yourself every day, but this is the greatest thing that you will have in your life, an infinite beautiful fight. And no matter how big or how small artist you are, we will keep having doubts, we will keep having fear, some more and some less, but feeling all of that is what actually makes us grow. And the most important thing to realize is that you are not alone. We all carry that with us. Every emotion that you have at the moment, everything that you're feeling at the moment, if you're not inspired enough, if you don't believe enough in yourself, you are not alone. And this is something that is very, very important for you to realize. I can speak about this basically forever, I think. But the thing I have to say is that just realize that it's completely fine. However you feel and whatever you feel, this is completely fine. But the thing that I started whenever I feel like that, I started telling myself every day that I can do it. You know, I finished my college. Uh, My mother and me, we lived in a 30 square meters house. That's a very small house. And she had a very small room. I had a very, very small room. And we had a small kitchen and a small bathroom. And that was it from our house. And I worked very hard for a lot of things every day. I worked a lot of jobs so I can support myself. I kept drawing at night on the floor of my room because I had a very small desk where I had the room only for my monitor and a room for a 
basically A5 size paper and whenever I had a bigger project I was drawing on the floor. I had few pencils, one set of watercolors and few acrylics. And at that point I never thought about giving up. No matter how hard my life was back then, I kept putting everything in that little box. And that box I mentioned again a few minutes ago in that box of pain kept carrying with me and kept believing that somehow, one day, I will make it. I had no idea how, because never in my life back then I thought about starting a YouTube channel, Instagram didn't even exist, Patreon, TikTok, social medias, nothing. But somehow my desire was so big that I knew that one day, somehow, I will do it. And here I am now, being a full-time artist in my dream studio, which I cannot wait to show you. And um, this is the studio that I could only imagine in my wildest dreams. Now, you are in a bit different position than me. You have all the social medias possible. The world is basically in your hands. Gaining knowledge became so easy through the internet. It is all on your phone, basically. You need to realize that everything that you need, you are basically holding in your hands. So be smart about it. Learn to use all of this and use it as your advantage, not as something you should cry in yourself about. Be brave. Believe in yourself every day. Find the inner peace throughout this journey, no matter how bumpy the road is at the moment. Forget about feeding your ego with likes and acceptance from other people and the whole idea of becoming a very, very powerful, um, rich artist, like get that out of your head at the moment. Stand in front of the mirror every day and say to yourself like I did, I don't know when exactly and how, but one day I will do it. And start believing in those words. You just have to believe yourself when you say it. Accept yourself the way you are. Realize yourself as your best friend not your biggest enemy, because everything that you might be doing at the moment is basically against you. Because having constant doubts, fears, and we are not knowing how to work with that is what makes you your own enemy in the end. And imagine having yourself as your own biggest enemy for the rest of your life and not even realizing it. This is the worst thing you could do for yourself. Starting from, of course, those like small habits until the greatest ones and especially when it comes to your career or when it comes to your passion or anything or when it comes to art. And we are all doing it through a certain point in life. We all behave like that. And some of us still behave like that. I mean, it's impossible to get everything out like all of a sudden and, and right from the start, but you need to really work on it. So don't let this happen to you. Embrace yourself with all the flaws, all the insecurities, all the goods, all the creativeness, everything that makes you, you. And as soon as you accept all of this and learn how to carry all of this in the best possible way, your path will start showing up. And I'm not saying it's going to be an instant one. It took me years and years to get where I am now. But from drawing on the floor to a dream studio with all the possible art supplies I could ever imagine in my life. So it's not easy, it's not instant, but it's so worth it. This is something that you should definitely fight for if you honestly and genuinely have that inner desire and inner hunger for basically all these things, which in the end, it will bring you so much peace. So in the end, it's not just about art materials. It's not just about how you hold your pencils. It's not just about art materials. First and the most important thing is that it's about your mindset. How you decide to work with your emotion while going through this process and how much you're willing to fight for you in the end. All of us have their own paths. Nobody can have exactly the same path. I chose mine and I chose to live with all the goods and bads that comes with it. I decided to live art in my own way. Will you?